Scammers are everywhere, from over the email to over the phone. We now have to worry about scammers inside our phones, specifically our SIM cards. There are two new scams out there known as SIM hijacking and poured out scams. Today, I'm going to tell you what they are, what safeguards are in place to protect yourself, and how you can help protect yourself even further. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching Whistleout TV. Port out scams and SIM hijacking are where thieves steal your phone number and use your phone number to get a hold of your personal information. But how do they do this? Well, it's easier than you might think, but first, we're going to go over the differences between the two. With poured out scams, once a thief has your account information, pretending to be you, they will take that info to another carrier and have them port your number. Porting is something you would do when you want to switch carriers, but with this scam, a thief does it without your knowledge. With SIM hijacking, a thief will take your account info, request a new SIM card, then take control of your account with the new SIM card, gaining control of your incoming calls and texts and anything else you have on your account. So why would someone want to take control of your cellular account and phone number, and how does it benefit them? Well, with new technology like two-factor authentication, these scammers need your phone number to get into your personal accounts, like, for instance, Gmail. When Gmail notices a new login from a new computer, it will send you a text and verification code to log in. If a scammer has your phone number, he will get that verification code, then bam, they will have access to your account. This is bad because once someone has access to your email account, they have access to bank account information and other sensitive material. So how are cell phone carriers trying to prevent this fraud and scammers from being successful? Well, they have their own form of two-factor authentication in the form of pins. AT&T gives you a pre-made pin to use when you want to port. Sprint requires all customers set up a six to 10 digit pin number. T-Mobile encourages, but does not require customers to create a six to 15 digit passcode to keep their accounts safe. Verizon requires all customers to create a four digit account pin number. Although this helps to keep your information safe, there is still a lot more you can do to further protect yourself. Don't connect your phone number to accounts. If you need to connect a number, use Google Voice or another VOIP number that can't be stolen. Use obscure answers for security questions, keep strong and different passwords for all of your accounts, and keep a close eye on your account activity and report any suspicious behavior. That's it for today. If you have any questions or comments, let us know below. In the description, we will also be linking to helpful information so you can learn more about these scans if you need to. I'm Sherry Riggs, you're watching Whistle Out TV.